So, Dallas, you know, I've, I've laid it out for you. The basic, you know, what you need to do uh, to become a Christian. You know, you had your questions. And l let me ask you this. After everything you've heard, is this something you're interested in? No. Not 100% sure yet. It's like... I, I mean, I mean, do you have any questions? Right, what you, would keep you from this? Can you really forgive me for everything that has been going through my life? Can, can God... And every, everything that has happened. Can like God I, forgive all the different mistakes you've made, the things that have pulled you away from Him? You know, that's... And a lot of people tend to think that. They think, I, I sinned so bad that God can't forgive me. You know, the, the thing with sin is that, you know, there's a, we sin, there's a penalty for sin. We already committed it. What people don't realize is Christ already paid that penalty. Romans 5.8 talks about how while we were still sinners, Christ already died for us. We were, we were already dead to sin. Christ already paid that penalty, though. He, you ask him, it's already forgiven. The debt's already been paid. You don't have to worry if there's something too big that God can't cover. God, any sin you're in, you're in sexual sin, you're in addiction, you're in as something as what people call a small sin as lying or cheating. Anything, any sin that you have, God, God wipes it away. Christ has already paid that debt. The, the debt for sin, you know, uh, Romans talks about how the wages of sin is death. The gift of God is eternal life, though. God's already paid the debt. All you have to do is accept his gift. Are you willing to accept his gift? And there's a lot involved. Don't think it's so easy as just to say sorry. God doesn't want to hear sorry. All right, he doesn't want to hear that, you know, you know you messed up. He wants to see more than that. He wants to see that you want to change your life, that you don't want to live the same sinful lifestyle, but that you want to be a child of God, that you want to live for him. That's what God wants to see. And when you, when, when you ex accept Christ into your heart, I'm telling you right now, it's going to radically change your life. You're not going to be the same person. Your life right now is on the highway to hell. That sounds harsh, but I'm telling you right now, as it is, you're on the highway. Nothing you do is good because your heart is filled with sin. Jeremiah 17, 9, the heart is deceitful and desperately wicked. It, 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 it's evil. It's filled with sin. But when you accept Christ, he takes you on that highway to hell and he 180s you. He completely transforms everything in your life. He makes you want to serve him with all you have. And yeah, you're going to mess up. We still have that sinful nature. You read Romans, you know, um, we still struggle with that sinful nature. And, but you know, as Paul writes, you know, so, well, shall I go on sinning to let grace abound? No, we don't. Because we have Christ in us. We want to strive to be perfect, to be imitators of Christ. And when you accept Christ into your life, you're going to be saying, God, I see the mistakes in my life. Other people may not be able to forgive me, but I know that the holy God who loves me is willing to forgive me and wash my slate clean. That's what you want. You want that that reassurance, that assurance that, you know, you are forgiven by God. And that's what salvation is. It's forgiveness by God, and it's a continual um, relationship with Him. You keep confessing your sins whenever you have them, and He sanctifies you time and time again. You will see sins that used to be a problem in your life. He will slowly squeeze them out with the presence of His Holy Spirit. And it's an incredible thing. I can think in my own life, sins that... I have had that I, I don't struggle with as much but then I take my eye off Christ and this is why it is so important to daily be in prayer confessing your sins because I will take my eye off Christ and I fall and I don't look to him and I fall deeper and deeper into sin it's a relationship this isn't fire insurance all right you're not getting something you're you're not punching a ticket into heaven. You're becoming a child of God. And what, what do you do with your parents when they tell you to do something? I imagine you obey, right? Or at least 
try to. <laughs> exactly. So, w with Christ, y y with God, you're becoming His child, and you do your best to obey. You're not always going to succeed, but God's a loving Father. You ask for His forgiveness, and He gives it to you. If we confess our sins, He is faithful to j and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us of all unrighteousness. And that's what's going to happen when you become His child, Dallas. It's going to radically change your life. And it's going to be the greatest thing that ever happened to you. It's going to be a trial, and it's going to be hard, but the reward is the greatest payoff beyond anything we can imagine. So I want you to think about giving your life to Christ fully. No reservations. Take me as I am, Lord. Wash me clean and use me for your greater glory.